Hey everybody, this is Matthew Movies coming at you with my review of Kong Skull Island, the 2017 kaiju monster movie that I had a lot of fun with. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was the second best in the series. I still find that the original back in the day 30s version is my personal favorite. I grew up watching that movie a lot. I used to watch it on the weekend with my mom and, and, and I always loved like all the dinosaurs and like the the... the effect of the of of uh, Kong like the, the stop-motion animation I always thought was all really really cool uh, so I'm a big big fan of that movie and I did not care for the the Peter Jackson movie all that much I thought it was far too long and that you could cut like probably an hour or maybe even more out of it and it would have been a much tighter much more enjoyable film Everything on the boat I thought was completely useless. I mean, you had character moments, a couple of them here or there, but it was so drawn out that by the time I, we got got to the island, I didn't care about them because they had annoyed me so much. Uh, and so I went into this movie hoping that it would uh, be much better than the last film that I saw. And I personally enjoyed it a great deal more. Now, I won't say, like, I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you that this is, like, you know, the best movie out there or anything like that. It was it was a movie that I, I would say that I, I really enjoyed it. I, I would even say that I loved it because it was just such a, a fun ride. It's, it's, a, it's a popcorn movie. It's an action movie. It's giant monsters. It's, it's really silly in points. Like, Samuel L. Jackson's character uh, throughout the movie has just decided that he's going to get retribution on Khan and the, 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 the lengths that he goes to to try to do that are, are get to be kind of silly um there's the 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 scene from the trailer with the where you see them shooting at the spider that sequence kind of felt a little bit goofy to me as well um but overall i really enjoyed this movie i thought they did a great job of setting up the character of kong and how in this film he's the guy that you really wanted on your side instead of you know the the person to fear or the, not the person but the creature to fear and but also had like that moment at the beginning that you saw in the trailer where he's attacking all the, the helicopters where he comes off as very fearsome i also really enjoyed there was a couple moments where you could see him nursing his injuries which i thought were, was really cool it it uh it gave his uh the, the character of kong a lot more depth because you know you didn't you know you don't look at him as just being kind of like this invincible guy um or I keep saying guy or people that, you know, just the, the verbiage that comes to, to mind when you're naturally speaking about characters, but th this uh, invincible creature. Um, and uh, so I thought I thought that sequence was added a lot to the film. Uh, there aren't any actual dinosaurs in this movie, there, like there have been in the previous ones. Instead, they have uh, these creatures called skull crushers that are, you know, similar to, to, to dinosaurs, the type of dinosaurs you've seen in, in previous films, but aren't recognizable as, you know, like, like in Peter Jackson's King Kong movie, there's clearly Tyrannosaurus Rexes. That that is not what's happening in this movie, but they did a great job of setting up the Skull Crushers. Uh, they they had show scenes where he's battling them, and but they set up the fact that that's the little ones, and, and they gave you a great idea that when uh, if if a uh, if one of the big skull crushers comes to bear, that that could be much more dangerous. Uh, the the movie ends, of course, with uh, with a big fight, like all these movie style of movies does do, I should say. And um, I, I quite enjoyed it. I, I, I found the entire the entire way it was set up was extremely effective because you you had set these creatures up that he that he fights as being very fearsome, but also the way in which he fights is makes it very understandable that he would have a better chance to potentially win. Uh, I did, I enjoyed his kind of interplay with some of the, the humans in the movie. Uh, it's not nearly as uh, kind of in your face as like the classic relationship that he had with Faye Ray, where he seemed to be almost infatuated with her. But you know, there is, uh, there was seemed to be uh, some real affection between him and uh, Brie Larson's character. Uh, I did, I enjoyed the cast of this movie. I thought Tom Hiddleston was, solid um, but not amazing uh, same with Brie Larson's character I thought she was solid but not amazing I I, I enjoyed her I thought I, I the one thing I, uh, I was kind of thinking about a little bit while I was watching this is I'm like well you know before this I've seen her predominantly in um, in drama so I thought it'd be interesting to see how she would handle it being in a blockbuster film like King Kong and I thought she was solid, uh, get especially, and it makes me excited to see her play Captain Marvel in the MCU. It's obviously the it, it's much more of a blockbuster film than a lot of the films she's done, but also it, it is a lot more about character than than 
this this Kong Skull Island is because really there's one thing to keep in mind this movie is not about the characters I mean like you definitely have some performances like John C Riley plays kind of like the 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 uh, comedic character and thing and he's the the person who's on the island so he's also kind of like the mentor and the, the exposition scene uh, uh exposition uh character i should say and he's there and he serves a, a great deal of uh, purposes uh and he he is there are moments where he is funny but the, the one thing i would say that I, I found a little bit disappointing was that all of his funny lines were in the trailer so if you're expecting him to to bring a lot more humor to the movie, uh, a lot of his lines you're gonna know with what he's gonna come out with. Uh, it, it, but it, when you watch the movie together, the way in which he kind of get the the character that he creates in between just the one-liners, you know, is one that you feel affection for. Um, again, uh, Samuel Jackson is kind of chewing the scenery a little bit in this as as like the the bad guy uh, uh, du jour, but he's also you know he's also not like. Um, like he's not slightly whiplash either, right? Like it, it seems ridiculous that he goes to the lengths he does, but at the same time he does have a, a clear motivation. Uh, John Goodman play, uh, play is in this movie, and he plays an interesting character that kind of sets the wheels in motion, and he has some pretty great lines. Uh, but again, uh, he's more of a little bit less of a feeling. Like he doesn't feel as real as say Brie Larson's character does. And then there are several supporting actors who aren't uh, character aren't actors that you would recognize by name, but also do a very solid job. So you know, I thought the acting overall was was serviceable. And uh, it, it really, at the end of the day, this movie is all about Kong, right? And I thought they did a great job on Kong, and I really enjoyed his various fight scenes, and and I really uh, really enjoyed the the possible setup for what can come next i thought that was pretty exciting um so yeah overall i quite enjoyed this movie uh so those that's those are my thoughts on kong sky uh, skull island apparently i can't speak uh let me know in the comments below what you think please hit that subscribe button uh i love talking to you guys about movies and if you're new to the channel and you hit that subscribe button that'll be make it much much easier for me to do so and hit that notification bell so that you get a pop-up telling you that i put something else out and please hit like uh, the like button it does awesome things for my channel it makes it much more likely that people might be able to see my reviews that otherwise wouldn't and they're recommended uh the recommended section on the website there and uh yeah just thanks a lot for watching and other than that have yourself a nice day